Good day and salutations, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Together We Roll. Yay! We should have recorded ten minutes ago. You have got a lot more badges. <laughs> Why do we even have that letter? <laughs> Thank you to JD Arts, Corinne Mill, RPG Elements, and Oki Deer for the support that you give this channel by, by letting us showcase your lovely work. Yeah. Um, also, you can follow us, subscribe on YouTube, like, hit that thing that makes you get the dings. About. Um, we're also on Patreon. We can support us and actually impact the game. If you are supporting the channel, thank you so much. We love you. If you are not supporting the channel, fuck you! Uh, <laughs> you <silly> bitches. <laughs> it's sick it. It's 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 <laughs> With it, I just want a little wow. feeling to it. That was, it gets bouncy. Uh, <laughs> it gets angry every time. So uh, I'm sure you, most of you, have seen it. But if you haven't, and uh, you want to see our intro video, we put it all to the back end of our our, uh, our game session. So go back to the end of the video here and take a look at that. We show off all the amazing art and uh, uh, also our theme song, which was actually fan created. So, anyway, check it out, and let's get to the game, right? Back yep. In. So, last time we left our intrepid adventurers. Oh, no. No. We left our intrepid adventurers. I'm going back to... Never mind. Made contact with the Hobbitline Kingdom. The Green Mourners are called into the actions to defend the dr uh, Druidic Groves that were on the Material Plane. The Hobbitline Kingdom, finding that they were ready to do some ske sketchy shit with demonic influencers all around, being able to see in. Do the invisibility. Do oh, get away with it. Oh, with you guys being badasses, well placed times of spells and gathering and uh, d diverting uh, loot and explaining your situation with a dryad patron, so to speak, with Quinn. Mm -hmm. Quinn, we left off with you holding uh, several sacks, eight sacks of fizz. Fizz, a local drug that was made. Why has he got the so many sacks? He he's not in half that many, he's holding them. It's a medical condition. <laughs> <pressure. laughs> hey, he can hold however many of Fizz's sacks he wants to, but... <laughs> oh, oh no. But, but, not, but with all realism, this is a truly terrible sight to behold, to see the Fae reduce nothing but alchemic superpower for arcane purposes. Superpower. As you listen off to the various voices inside each sack, hearing the last... Last whispers of their dying breath. As X says that, but does not know what is a situation going on. The sun is not finally going over. Who will oh. pick my tomatoes? Mm. Finally going over the horizon as night takes. Seeing the orange amber glows of fires in the distance, rolling hills. Is something that has come through from the other side. You are invited to say, and give him free reign for the most part, to sleep, eat, and rest to what you need before you do what Gwen has already uh, explained. What would you like to do? I just picture that like Quinn is standing in the top of a tree and looking out at like this burning hillside in the distance and just kind of like glowering and it's that very you know, epic, like, flame-shadowed face of, like, oh, intrepid determination, <laughs> and next to him is Vanek going, we're gonna fuck somebody up, as he's roasting a marshmallow. <laughs> like, we're gonna fuck somebody up for this, right? <laughs> so, uh, I was really hoping that it was, like, a little race above your head of, like, me in my new boots ready to go, and Vedic on his carpet ready to go, and then <laughs> past you. <laughs> Just to really underscore the seriousness yeah. of your situation. Yeah. yeah. And, and actually, <laughs> you never know how Nick was felt the entire time. Guys, this is serious. <laughs> this is serious. Looking around. There's a couple people dancing in the background just with their full legs. Hey, 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 with the new boots and various things that they have gathered. And the night going, where'd everyone go? <laughs> so. Yes. Todd has an idea. Uh-oh. <laughs> Going to wander off into like a, a corner of know, the area and and pull out the marvelous four, pigments four like okay. and four. using as much of it as you deem necessary for me to try what I'm trying. Okay. I am going to paint a storefront with an open side in the most elaborate detail possible with lit windows. Oh, with fae-born pigments. Interesting. 
roll a performance check or a uh, artisan's check is what we use, which is your dexterity plus your proficiency plus uh, plus a d20. And right minded, all you have a d20. Oh, sorry, Todd does not have this, but everyone has a d20 in spirit of inspiration. <laughs> you <laughs> used it. You used it with good purpose. So wait, I'm. What am I adding to it? D20 plus dex plus proficiency. Okay. That is a 16 plus dex is 6 plus proficiency. So that becomes a 27. 27. And I'm going to say this takes several hours because oh, you're yeah. putting all your entire passion into it. Describe me of this storefront that you are creating. Um, it's going to be aimed at the average small creature, so doorway is about four feet tall. He would fit. He would stoop. Um, it's it's like going to be at a bit of an angle in the 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 frame is gonna it's gonna start narrower and go wide and it's, it's gonna be an angle of the lintel it's made of gnarled oak with a large brass knob that has little flecks of amber that are somehow embedded in the metal and this is all like directly onto the stone and the sign on it is this little it's on a golden chain that's hanging off of a tiny nail in the center of the door and it says um mystical emporium open when open open now on it and the windows are the the same wood frame but with this shimmering rainbow glass and a warm yellow glow coming out of it and I'm going to say, you know what, roll 1d4 hmm? to see how many hours you place into this. One! <laughs> and uh, what was your roll again for your uh, uh, performance? Uh, it was a 27. 27, okay. Uh, 16 plus 11 is 27, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. I did the math. We're good. Okay. So, at the end of the hour... It is true night right now. And we're not talking about dark, oppressive, Shadowfell night. We're talking about infinite, nebulous sky, starry fields with a slight undertone of orange in the distance from the fire. That, with the current winds, are being blown away from the grove so that you still see above, so that you have this warm, tint windows. Activate at the end of the hour. Yes. <laughs> a little bit like Beyond. And from the Shadowfell, from the Fey Wild, with a little bit of Gothic, a little bit of Fey, and in between the worlds of Fey. Yeah, I'm counting real hard on the faith of Fairy to. to yeah, the faith of Fairy, this. as you're just believing and believing. And I am going to make an interesting roll that is outside of the system. <laughs> I want you to roll a d20, add your level as a fey individual, which is your level. Okay. And add, what is your reputation as Todd? Have we ever discussed this? No, I asked you once. And you right, and then what? we took a massive break. And what was mm -hmm. the one you were just telling me about? Roll with, roll with emphasis? Roll with prejudice? What was it? Was this the real cool situation? No, this was something else that... Uh, BLM, Brandon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brandon yeah. Lee Mulligan. Yeah. I don't quite remember those rules, but we're going to just, mm -hmm. we're writing about the CDR page right now. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be adding your level, adding your uh, D20, plus your, let's add five for the total of your reputation. Okay. Because you're good at what you do. <laughs> look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. First roll. Look at it. First roll of the night. All right. <laughs> Natural 20! So... Fuck! That means I have to fall through. All right. <laughs> and then adding on to the natural 20, that becomes a 39. With that? No! Oh. Sorry! It becomes a 40 because I leveled. And no. I just realized I'm using the wrong character. There you go. <laughs> you don't even oh. need to add your lucky foot for, to this. As my buddy person Which asked. one's her lucky foot? So I need, like I'm I telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is, is roll 2d20s and use the so, result further, further, from further from 10. Further from 10, yeah. Tom, you wait one, two minutes, three minutes, and you're just 
hoping with the deepest parts of your heart. And as you close your eyes, you feel a like, almost like a... And you hear a ding, ding, ding. Welcome to the shop of it. Uh, what the fuck is my name? Who the fuck am I? Anyway, and you see a small little note. It's describe the type of individual that would run this shop. The gnome who's running is. Are we talking about caterpillars? Are we talking about insects? Are we talking about samurai cricket? Are we talking about a pixie? Samurai crickets. Don't we have a loyal cadre of samurai crickets? With a 39, you take the narrative. So the person who steps out is a three and a half foot tall owlbear. And <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna be our owlbear? Good job. Good girl. <laughs> yes. It's right. strangely <laughs> dog faced <-faced> looking <laughs> owlbear. What do you say? Um. No. The. Alice. Stop. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. If you think of an owlbear, but made into a gnome like they're they're squat they have like a really round face with glasses purchasing on their little beak and they've got these glorious resplendent wings that are kind of stocky compared to their body and <laughs> they're in a Mr. owl from the tootsie pop commercials Less graduated college, okay. more runs an antique shop, but okay. yes. And did not graduate uh, college. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the red from the eyeglasses <laughs> commercials. Red vest over a green blouse and isn't wearing pants because that would be very uncomfortable with his tail and talons. Um, and he just tail and talons is the name of the store. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. But I already named it in the sun. <laughs> I guess I didn't name it. Could just be describing it as a mystical magical emporium. That's true. That's yeah. Tail, now tail, named tail, 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 tail and Talons. Tail and Talons. You, I like it. T A L E. Tail and Talons. Um, and look, he, a shop. Click, click, click. Mm. Sorry. And and is, what? Who am I? Uh, who am I? Who? Cool. And she turns and her head turns around. The entire <laughs> I am. Who am I? Talent was a tail, uh, tail and toil. Tail, tail and talons. Tail and talons. Tail and talons. What a magic shop, Comporium. His name is I, his name is Talon. Emporium Magorium. I am Mini Owl. Pleasure to meet you. I'm so glad you're here. Can you stay open just late enough for me to go and grab some friends who might be very interested in exploring the wares that you have? I go off like a shot. I'm doing my full dash, 180 screen per second. Run by Benedict, who spells cock. Damn it! Negative. I made a shop! <laughs> hot! Oh! That was very hot! <laughs> I made a shop! Get off me, you psychotic rabbit! <laughs> That's exciting, like when I make a turn. <laughs> <laughs> over there, over there. If you look for that glowing light over there in that corner where there was not I'm a glowing light before. I'm grim, sorry. I'm yelling it at you guys. But guys, there's a shop! Just. How'd you make the shop? I drew it. Everything? Sorry, I'm going to give you my coffee. Her mother. <laughs> so if you drew it, does that make you a tree? I you roasting marshmallow on no. the side. No, it doesn't. But if you got, there's finally I'm a shop, cool. and he's not someone who's a slaver, and we can actually, I'm going to go buy things, and I take off in the other direction, no. same speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, you, know, you don't even breaking. have ears. <laughs> <laughs> I have the little flat, whatever crocodiles have. Yeah, the last thing I heard oh. was, we've hit mass Q. <laughs> oh, okay. She's gone to play. Okay. <laughs> Let's go make sure she doesn't hurt All right. someone else. Yeah, I, I, I can't believe she made a whole shop. Mm -hmm. I mean, she can only paint. I mean, it must be like 
Okay. Yeah, it's gotta be a score. So it's literally there's a score the rules front. and you can it's determine how much I can step. No, this is going to do things. Like I think at this point I should probably be down at least one pot. Oh yeah, you're definitely down with one pot at this point. To create life. I think that with the leaf. Yeah, I think that hits a full. It's a shame that Wiley Coyote. Let's go see your storefront. Let's go see your store. So for his violence and not his realistic depictions of cave paintings. Tunnels. I'm gonna roll a D2 real quick. And it took two full pots. <laughs> there. Yeah. Yep. Totally. So, so I taught you mature much faster than everyone else. Yeah. Because everyone's like, Gr- I grow. Yeah. Like, uh, like this is what six, seven a.m. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, I can actually. Actually, it's it's, it's just when you're starting. No, you're not. You just started your short a long rest. You literally just fell asleep because it's only been an hour into it, and then suddenly a just mock one. This is bunny. an strenuous activity, not even for her. <laughs> <laughs> and you come back. Who? 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 Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? Into like a mirror, like who? Lauren? Gloria? Gloria? Who? And it's just like, and then immediately, it's like, Wah! and it like flies because of the second speed there. Yep. <laughs> and it comes up with a little couple of feathers, kind of out of place, and it's. Just... And like I do a, a solid like a stop and. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are open. You really are dark bugs, business. Dark, dark bugs bunny. <laughs> How may we assist you? What do you have for sale? Oh, we have what do you for sale? Most of it we shall experience together. A little bit of bakery, a little bit of magic, a little bit of fay. Oh, let's get a little weird. And just walks in with a little bit of sass walk with the bird butt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. Classic bird butt. Mm. <laughs> what an owlbear bird butt thing. Yeah. <laughs> and there's like, and it's all miniature stuff. All things that would not fit you. And it's weird how the internal, uh, and she first opens up this wonderful magical shop area. It all fills in with like dots of uh, paint that get smaller and smaller and smaller that still keep that artistic like dot 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 what are you looking for? We call those infinity stones. Um. We have gems, we have food, we have decor. Who shall I serve first? Possibly my land? Mother? <laughs> Create. Create. We'll go with creator, I guess. Creator. Um. Uh, can I help? Can I, can I, can I <laughs> come in? Can, can you fit? I can Please help her. As uh, you, soon as you take a step forward, you reduce like three feet. Oh me! Whoa! With a shrinking door. Yeah. As you take another step, you reduce even further until the size of a full owlbear that is almost oppressively o- acute. Ah, so the owlbear is small. It's just we all just shrunk. shrunk. Yes. And now you see a miniature little egg, maybe but three inches tall. I didn't shrink. Nope. Well, no. you didn't get. You didn't like enter. Alright, so, so uh, step in, do I get smaller? You get smaller. Ooh, okay. mm, uh, just a fun fact, 30 miles per hour. That is. <laughs> <laughs> That's not using the robot bonus action dash. No, 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 that is using the robot bonus action dash. She has a 90 foot move speed. If she sprints, so that means t- double. That's 180. Adds the bonus action dash is an additional 90 for 270. That is 45 feet per second. That is, that is not the fastest I've seen in a character build. No. Yeah, there's a tabaxi no. way to do it. Tabaxi monks. Tabaxi monks. <laughs> it was like 90 miles an It's not. Like I built for it. That is, I have an item. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I built my character around breaking the sound barrier. So me, he built a monk around breaking the sound barrier. <laughs> yes. That's right. Um, okay. I think I got it like up to 170 miles an hour. Anyway. Uh, um, <laughs> something for. I have. Right now I have a cloak of protection. And if there is a way that I can get, like, an upgrade to those, like, I really like having the plus one to AC and my saving throws. 
So if there's a way that I can get an upgrade without losing anything. Okay, so you have the cloak of protection plus one? No, it's just a cloak of protection. Like, if I could get a Cloak of Protection plus one, that would be the option. Oh, okay, you get a plus one AC uh, and second throw. Uh, this is a Cloak of Protection. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. it's a ring of but you, you just want to upgrade your version. She takes the cloak and goes, Well, let's find out how well I do this. And she kind of goes in the back room, and you can see several bats of, like, inkwells mm. that she puts it on a stick and almost like almost like putting up a piece of a uh, uh, photo <laughs> art. And she uh, takes the stick and then dumps it once into one pile, which changes the color, dumps it again into the next pile, like almost like candle dipping. And then the next third one... You painted all this? Just the door, and the windows, and the sign. And then I believed really hard. <laughs> and then she finds it, puts it up to dry. It has a nice, elegant, uh, vibrant snow blue tracing around it that has almost a texture of the uh, of the high snow mountains to it. It is now a protection of plus three. Yep. We'll make it so essential. When she rolls a thirty-five oh, on wow. Arcana. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, I this is an experience, of course. <laughs> it is my pleasure. Wait, what? Huh? Not for you! I am running the business after all. I got one freebie because I created her shop uh, and her. You just got an item increased by what? One or two? By two. Oops. By two? Yeah. Yeah. She rolled high enough. <laughs> Do me. Do me. Just gonna come inside, and I guess. Who yes. are you? How do I get inside? My name is. Ek. You come through the door and then you shoot. Ah, the work. Ek, 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 ek. 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 I will come inside. Insulting. Scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all Junk. like. <laughs> They're all like painted yeah, scrolls, and you wild. open up one, and it's like a dancing lady on the inside. I mean, so many people. He's like, he's like, what the? <laughs> I didn't do it. Not draconic. <laughs> humanoid, you don't know what type of animal. <laughs> I rushed through this record protection to be plus higher. Plus higher? What shall you give? What the? Payment. I, was just, I, I, me, I don't know. I have in character. Don't know what if it what it does specifically. I just know it's this protection. So something better. Something better. I will try. But first, she uh, slides over to the counter a empty box. Okay. What did you get? What would you give? Creation. Something for creation. So. What? Sorry, I He created me, us, I. I made the place, so I got things for free. How does it work? No, you really, maybe you merely painted. Do, the how does anything do. work? Do you pay in exchange for here. gold? You just she opens up like the cash register. Fingernails. It's <laughs> <laughs> a string. It's a, a string. It's a thing. A button. I don't mean like a button, like on the shirt, like a button that's just, you know, in your pocket. It's 83. <laughs> the weight of the possibility of what you find important. Ooh. As she holds up like a leaf, very valuable, places it in. Ah. I see. Unfortunately, I don't have many items that are that valuable. When it comes to sentimental value. She kind of sniffs the air with her beak and taps with one owlbear talon where your book would be. Your journal. Yeah, no, no. No, that's as far as you immediately turned her attention elsewhere. Others are in the shop. Someone is grabbing so many things. You... I'm not in the shop. So you're looking for things of emotional... Connection. Does it have to be to him? No. I have something that I was told was of great value to the person who it belonged to, and the person who gave it to me also found it to be 
important given the connection. So, what can I get for Drake's ring of mind shielding? <laughs> that! <laughs> you kind of hold it up and she made like a You thought you were fast. <laughs> Payment sufficed. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. I, I said, okay. what could I get for? Oh, wow. Well. Is it just his? Or could I get one? You could it be a... Give it to mine, too. I've got the same ring. <laughs> so you <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty much fucked Vedic because he doesn't know he's lost it. Oh, no. He knows he's lost it. He, he, he left Drake, it behind. Not Drake. Drake. Yeah, Drake left it behind. We're and that's, the, that's a ring from a different universe that exploded. Yeah. <laughs> like, There's so much, like, potential future in that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, so this should get an upgrade for at least, like, three people, in my opinion. Make a persuasion but... check with advantage. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a very... <laughs> With advantage, persuasion, that becomes a 17. 17? She uh, just puts her paw out with an adorable expression with the t uh, with overly big eyes that is, just makes the owl eyes even bigger mm -hmm. to the point that it's almost like a... Uh, <laughs> looking into like a fun mirror kind of effect. Mm -hmm. If I may. <laughs> And she just kind of uh, puts her hand over, closing her eyes, and, and, holds it down. <laughs> and just takes a great deep mm. ring. What else? <laughs> One yours. All right. Yeah. Who wants upgrades? Okay. We'll do two rings. <laughs> two rings of protection. Yeah. She takes it, does the same process of dipping it, dipping it, dipping it. Two d twenties. Natural 19 and a natural 20. Oh! oh, oh, oh. So, okay. Roll a d4, roll a d4. I should, I should have rolled them separately. Four. Four. Roll again. Both of you got fours. Three. I can't get my d4 back out. <laughs> it's hard to pick up the d4 if I make the point. Four. Three. You get the natural 20. So oh, you get a ring of protection notice. plus four. Holy what shit! The hell? Mother of God! <laughs> You're welcome! Oh, I'll oh. say the payment is complete. Uh, <laughs> so, plus four. Write down what you got. Text it to me when you have a moment. So, plus three. four, plus three. I was going to change it on my character sheet. Uh, yeah, it is just a ring protection. So it's just, it's for something cheap. that legendary powerful, yeah. uh, we need to make a card for it. Yes. Okay. Uh, plus three. A plus three. I've never seen a plus four. I've been carrying this around. I don't have this anymore. What is it? The the staff of power that turned into my vestibule. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Whee! Anyway. That, that, so wait. That increases plus three for oh, all saving throws. And, well. and AC, yes. Plus four for you. Yes, and when you get the rings back, it's kind of interesting. It's like almost stippled kind of effect, but it's three dimensional. So it it feels smooth to the touch, but it's made like you from can that. See into it. Like, yeah, a little yeah. bit. You can. It's like stippled into a uh, like it's from a painting world, and it got moved to this reality. No, this doesn't feel right. So I have another option. What's the catch? But no catch. catch? I am alive! Eck, what do you need? Well, you created yeah. it, so I, I believe it. You're okay. Me. Me, she. Eck, what do you need? I like she. Because um, I have this to give up, and it else, might everyone, be. Everyone else can fly. I, it would be kind of nice not to. But see, it? I don't. I like. Sarah? I, 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 I have you just get over, my, get over my fear of flying. I have this to pay for whatever you need, and it might be of interest to the proprietor. All right. What is it? And what do you hand me? A bottle with about six worms in it. They're earworms. Oh, yeah, he hands over a jar with it, like a bunch of worms that look inactive, but as soon as it gets a little close to your head, they kind of they, the bottle. They, they, <laughs> yeah. Those oh, are the yellow thing worms. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> uh, wait. Are these the... the Mind flare wormy things? No, but you're in the right you're in the right ballpark. When did we get them? We got them a long time ago. Yeah, like that was. They also came. There's a metal latch yeah. on it. There's like a little metal latch. That's and another cake, like the the, the the champagne cage. The cork is nailed down. 
and it's glass. <laughs> You've been carrying these around in glass. Flash back to the various times you got hit with hammers, force <laughs> equipment, dropped, fell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's crush. <laughs> I, I, I hear you. I hear the in. words you're saying. <laughs> Don't worry, it's locked. <laughs> the worm is like wiggling <laughs> inside. <it's laughs> Um, no, but between like it, like I, that's the card I have. But I have like four pairs of the damn stuff. The yeah, damn there's things. four of them inside of that thing. What else do you guys need? Jesus Christ! So I other have something I'm going uh, to get, but I'm going to have him do it for a specific reason. It would be. Well, uh, so, you know, I already can. I don't know if there's anything else. <laughs> yes, I remember this. <laughs> Again. Not as valuable as the ring of well, mind yeah. shielding, but so valuable being an item that technically shouldn't exist. Mm. Uh, she looks at it. Oh, see, see, you, I, like I said, I got multiple, multiple instances of it. Yeah, because in case it got moved around and actually used. Ah. Uh, Serena will accept this. I just. I just don't want to. Serena, what do you? I just don't want to be scared of uh, being high. Scared of being high. Okay, real quick. I'm gonna do a quick magic trick before you do anything. I need you to reach into your pocket. Which one? (laughs) Whichever one you fidget with the Uh, uh, where your cigars are. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, takes a few moments, and he's like, uh, cigar, 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 cigar with a ring, cigar, cigar. Oh. Wait, what was that? <laughs> cigar with a ring. What the heck is... Alright. As you're looking at a golden ring with a bunch of big purple rocks. It's pretty. It is. You, you, don't, you don't know anything, right? That's your thing? You don't know anything? Okay, so that ring... Means you can't fall. What? It's a ring of feather fall. You know that spell? Really? Yes. Do I need to? I need to to to, to be able to to. Work. I, and I just put it on and it works. I. I mean. I, I put it on and I. Climb. Is there a box I can climb? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's several boxes. <laughs> I get up. <sighs> Make a dex check for a reaction. <laughs> How are you dumb enough that you don't know you have to attune to something? Like <laughs> I asked you, did I just put it on and it works? I... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like... I'm asking. Todd is not asking. Oh, all right. I'm so asking. Was, how is Dex Dex? that done? So what was Dex check? Uh, just Dex check. Ten. Ten. Yeah, you do a cannonball. You t- take your legs in, and as, when Egg hits the floor, the wooden natural wood floor, it feels like you're still 500 pounds, even though you're miniature, and the whole place goes. <laughs> oh. As a bunch of things like fall off of shelves and to, roll around. I have to tune to this, don't I? Yeah. Can you get up so I can uh, fix the floor, please? I wish I could. I <laughs> there's, wish like I could. A th- uh, <laughs> there's a foot wedge in the floor. <laughs> sorry. Um, sorry, I... As he gets out of the way, I just, like, finger paint owl, the floor. I, I I can't use this, though. And Owlbear's right. talon is out of so I can't, I can't... I know what I want. The amulet that gives you one extra attunement <laughs> slot. slot. <laughs> The or you could just have to attune to it. <laughs> or no, no, oh. there is actually uh, um, the, the she hand extends the her mage, talents hand the mage. towards the ring uh, finger. If you give her the ring, ring, she might make it where you don't have to attune. <laughs> Gently takes it, turns around, and opens up another rack full of boiling paint. Essentially, do we want to throw in all the other items? Too? Takes it with a. a uh, iron palm, dips it in, I've just swirls it around, brings it up, dips it again. I've got a bunch of random, and then I've also got one more really valuable thing. Like, What's your one more really valuable thing? 
I have a nice an an animated shield that we're not using. Sorry. I'm definitely not giving up my mug of endless coffee. <laughs> do you have to do that? That's no. Cool. Mm -hmm. Alex brings it up. That would be takes my value with the shop. And plucks a few petals. Ding, 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 and wraps it around, seeming to massage it into the ring itself. And hands it back. Great. Eyes of my neat scene. So. Oh, what have I done? Takes the ring, expands it out, and like stretches it out physically so that it fits around your wrist. Alright, so now it doesn't get it. It's a bracelet. It's it is now a bracelet. Bracelet. Now, in retrospect, that ring right. of mind shielding, I could have used it. I would, I would have happily, I would have happily dropped one of my other. Oh, sucks our, to suck. I offer that check, to you three times. All right. So, um, to that. Nathan, and twenty. While this 20? is going on, yeah, right? you're being watched right now with about eight different eyes. <laughs> I've been rolling wisdom saving throws because it's been after eight hours. What? Eight hours? Since what? Did you Since you last uh, did uh, non-detection. Oh. Non-detection lasts for 24 detection lasts for 24. Yeah, oh, it's, it's my bad. Full... Every day. You just do it every you day. You feel eight more like ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so, Nathan, I've got six bags of this. Nick. Sorry, Nick. I've got six bags of this fizz, right? Yes. yes. Um, oh, that's important to someone. It's, it's very important. It's important to me because uh, this is this is people. This He's is right. Bay creatures. It's eight hours. Oh. oh, it's eight hours? I thought it was longer. You're exposed. I had I, were, I had lots of spell slots. I will burn one. Like, okay, yeah. You notice that they're watching you right now, like eight coming in and out, because they, they've grown in intensity. <laughs> There's a lot of pissed off people uh, on you right now, and you're just like... Pfft. You, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, and no, they no, immediately no. just expand outward. Okay, I have a much bigger solution for this. So... I am, uh, like, I am, I walk, how close is the fire burning? Like, can I get there? Oh, like several miles away. Okay. Um, like, you see it on a, hill, a distant hilltop. Okay. I'm going to wander over there. I'm going to, uh, can, I, can I take some cinematic moments? I know. Are, I certainly. <laughs> so, I, I'm going to forgo my long rest. I'm going to be gone for the rest of the evening. Okay. Okay. So, I, I hike to where the forest is burning. And I gather some some elements. Like I, I go and I get to this burning tree and I set out a pot. And I cut my hand and I squeeze. Now, blood just a random burning tree or no, no, the tree. Okay, that's gonna change some things. All right, I need you to roll. Are, are you being stealthy about this? Or are you yeah. just walking up? Uh, well, if there's people around, I'm gonna make a perception check. Okay. Uh, Seventeen. 17. I am keeping in mind that these are your home woods. Yeah. Uh, especially since you're near your dryad's patron. You are entering a, another dryad's domain. Yeah. Which it's, is it's uh, which is actually about seven and a half miles away. Yeah. Because uh, it's a good distance, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, for dryad purposes. When you approach, your sixth sense goes off. Mm hmm but you don't know why. And you're not seeing anything because your eye is able to pierce into the yeah. other ways of seeing. This place has been tainted. Something is setting you off and you don't know why. Okay. And you realize that everything is quiet. No birds. No background noise. Just the burning of distant... Actually, less than distant trees. There's no nature here. There's no nature, just popping and crackling of burning wood. Okay. So, I'm I'm finding, I'm going and finding some flame, finding fire, putting some... Easy enough, yeah. because there actually is a ring of fire yeah. to this dryad's tree. And you're, like, and you're like, all right, you're looking for a tree, but then you realize, no, you would be petrified as you look at a petrified root. Small in beginning and already... Yeah broken in several spots, yeah. but that would lead to a dramatic growth. So, I'm pouring the anger of this space into the ritual I'm doing. You're not at the Dryad's Tree yet. Okay. This was at the border yeah. uh, as oh, the your, domain. Uh, the domain as the forest burns around it. Okay. 
but you haven't found the Dryad's Tree yet, but something is setting you off. Okay. I don't need to get all the way to the Dryad's Tree. I just want to be in the in this area. Okay. You get a fire, a little pot, blood into the pot. One of those bags of fizz mm -hmm. into the pot. Okay. I lay out the 20 dragon tooth arrows that were just crafted for me. And I start going through the ritual that I don't even fully know. I'm going way beyond what my character should be actually able to do, but I have a lot of power here. Yes, you do. And I want to pour it into something. Okay. And I am, as this fizzling, sparkling blood poultice is boiling, I'm going to basically dip my, I'm going to take the fire damage and anoint each of the arrows with my blood with this fizz, and I am going to craft 20 slaying arrows. Interesting. Going and rolling Arcana Chap. I'm going to roll my extra 20. That's a good time to use it. 19 and 12, plus 6. So, a lot. 40 something. So, let me tell you straight real quick. You are never a person of, like, studied arcane. Mm -mm. It's always about desire, intent, and emotion. The Fey run off strictly emotion. Emotion. And I'm pouring... And you are pouring it into your... Vengeance. Vengeance. Vengeance to what? As you are taking bits of fire damage, your fingers blistering uh, as you go past the first arrow, yeah. as you're looking out in the distance. Not going through the motion, not even looking at the yeah, arrows just that the, you're the, out. the phrases of the, of the arcane intonation just rolling off of my tongue. Mostly Things that I've heard at some point, but I have no idea where, I, where they're coming from now. And most of them is silver based yeah. Arcane is just so, one way of magical. In yours. So I'm making slayers. Slaying arrows don't have a specific creature type. Oh, you're right. 5e doesn't. Yeah. Well, I mean, they can. They can. But, but I'm making arrow. And here, here's the specific that, that like that limits the power of these arrows. Okay. I am the people responsible for this powder. That is who I'm coming after. So you're essentially making a blood feud arrow. Yeah. So it's. If they are on the side of that person, if they are a servant of that person, or if they are effectively my brother, who we're, we're coming down to, I now have slaying arrows against them. So I'm going to tell you right away. You did over a 30. Mm -hmm. It can be done. I did over a 40. You did over a 40. Yeah. You're essentially making arrows that are able to target your bloodline right off the bat. And everyone that serves this bloodline. The amount of weight and hatred one needs in order to do this would be immense. But you are currently channeling right now. As you feel the loathing to those that have lost their homes. The great mourners that have given their lives to defend this turf that now burns. Mm -hmm. And those that have speared. Your patron, I will call her. Yep. Oh no, I'm getting ready for the warlock levels. <laughs> well, I was saying patron versus like lover versus other things. You know, like, right. But it's it's coming. It's been oh, yeah. coming for a it's while. It's been now. coming for a while. Uh, Giggity. <laughs> what? Dick joke. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Ah, dick, dick joke! joke. <laughs> you just, beat me to it! Yeah. And dick joke. Yeah, you just hear that in the echoing distance of the burning forest. Dick joke. Dick joke. <laughs> and as you finish the last of this... <laughs> See? She's already got it. <laughs> 20, let's say 24 arrows yeah. you've completed. You've taken 24 points of, uh, of fire damage. Mm -hmm. And off the bat, and you hear... as you finish up the last one. Something heavy moving through the forest. Is it approaching or is it just moving? With that 17 perception check. No, this is a survival check. Mm -hmm. 27. 27. Knowing the forest, knowing the rattling and echoings between the uh, trees, as in the forest, 
town bounces off yeah. the trees. It's close to the heart of the dried circle that now burns. You hear a low, agonistic groan. And it almost feels as this night becomes infinitely more black. Something is at the heart of the force that cannot leave yet. But it is there right now. And you feel if you wait too long, it will get away. Pixie? <laughs> Bring the others. Bo comes out. <laughs> I was going to say, is your side mission? What? I might. Because I'm not waiting. No fast food. <laughs> <you guys here. laughs> I have right. a flying broom. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. I have a um, untethered uh, zip line. <laughs> <laughs> no one actually instructed me. Except it's, it's a hand-me-down from Vedic, so as you're flying, it goes pop! <laughs> like a badly tuned motorcycle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Trailing black smoke <laughs> behind you. You see the sticker for the warranty has been ripped off? <laughs> there is the warranty. It's like cobbled together. It's like yeah, but there's also a spine next to it. The warranties are, are for suckers. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, that's the accurate, uh, that's the in incantation to get it to work. Warranties are for suckers, and then it'll fly for <laughs> <laughs> Or insurance or is a scam. Yeah. <laughs> You've been trying to reach How are you? Like so you're going to be the first straight. one there. So the message is flying backwards, right? But you're still approaching. I'm approaching. I'm doing so with stealth because I don't want this thing to know. Make I'm a doing. stealth check. I haven't done one of these in forever. Can we have a long rest, please? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the thing is, not. this took me hours. So you guys would have finished your long rest. Yeah, we'll get yeah. to that. We'll right, get and to that. Pixie them. shows up and says, uh, Quinn's picking a fight. <laughs> <laughs> a very, very big fight. <laughs> Team. Uh, yes, apparently I can stealth with a 33. 33. Well, good thing for you, because I just rolled a natural 19. So did I. So I'm going to do some calculations. You just fade into the tree. Oh, I am in my home turf. I have a to All oh, right. Shit, ranger stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't roll any bad. Okay, okay. I do add double. Oh my god, I'm going to add double my proficiency modifier to everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your stealth? Uh, fourteen. Okay. You're, you're, doing, you're, that, you're doing the everything simply because you're in your favor. Yeah, I'm. You guys have been like, wow, Quinn's really good at shit. Yeah, Quinn's not been operating at full potential. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn is now in his favorite terrain. Yep. And even in the midst of the burning forest, you still know it. You still know the location, except when you get just a little closer to the circle. That is not your home. Mm -mm. You have been invited a couple of times, but you were always a guest. Never the home turf. As you see bodies strewn up on the trees, pierced into the actual branches, and then pulled to have their intestines ripped out as their legs dangled, almost ribbon fashion, from one tree to the next. Like and strands of popcorn at Christmas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's you hear that from Beck. From, from, from Josh always do that in his yeah. werewolf campaign. Yeah. Same thing. Skulls yeah. smoldering on pyres of burning corpses. It's very hard to get a skull to smolder. They Dust really of pixies and fey in the, in the wind. Do one and then like oh, Collapse no, trees it's... and stone. <laughs> Make a perception <laughs> check as you enter the smoke-written domain. I was going to use my vestige, and I want this thing that I see to make a deception check as well. You haven't made it, I've seen it yet. We'll get to it, I know you're excited! Still you're 16. excited! 16. 16. You sniff the air, choked with ash, in poison. You sniff the air and notice not just burnt ground, but poisoned <laughs> domains. Uh, the very area has been removed of any ability to grow again. You watch the stone petrified tree of a dryad 
grow to the center of a once beautiful mount like almost like there's a recess and then it goes into like almost a cliffside mm -hmm. on a hillside uh where water could pour down from a um a just perpetually filling magical river mm -hmm. that would fill a grove dry wasted in a stone oak tree with most of its limbs broken off and then and it takes you a few moments to realize what you're looking at is something impossibly big you've seen bigger but very few times as you see a gargantuan creature with bat wings horned bristles across its back bull head red skin and a gargantuan sore as big as sparks if not twice his size oh, what? dragging a flaming whip on its back as it brings it around <laughs> across the stone petrified wood of the dead dryad as you look at a bolar. Balor. Balor. The Balrog. Does it have wings? Don't oh, start that debate! It has, <laughs> it has wings as it looks and screams primal rage that makes the very air shake with fire as it tries to destroy the very anchor that it is currently stuck in. So. So we got stone structure. And I will tell you right now, with right. two natural ones, this is what happens with the ritualistic sacrifice. You rolled a natural one and a natural three. When, oh, for how the battles went? Yeah. Two drives were sacrificed ritualistically, which allowed it to come through. With your eyes that can see beyond sight, what was your perception check again? Oh, 16, a really shitty one. Yeah. I haven't done the vestige yet. You said I have to see it first before I can do the vestige. You're, you're, looking, you're looking, you're looking, and you can see almost like... <laughs> like ripples in the fabric of reality, and you know there's a tear nearby, but you do not see it. Okay. But when I see the Baylor, I'm definitely activating my vestige to get every bonus I can possibly get against Understood. this Understood. Make a uh, perception. perception check. Nine plus fourteen. This is the first for me. I've never tried Baylor. Really? I have, but it was a very different character. <laughs> 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 we fought the same Baylor even later, yeah. and he wanted none of it. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Excuse me. The natural Bale. eighteen. Not small. You do not. You do not beat it. Okay. You look into it and try to peer into it, and as your eye, your vestige tries to read its potential, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw as you look into the abyss itself. Sorry. I'm in my home terrain. Advantage. And I have advantage on this. For perception checks? Yes. Everything. Because it's also a favorite enemy. Oh. Ooh! And oh, fuck you, buddy! I roll three dice, not two. Why three dice? Because my eye, anytime I have advantage, I get three dice, not two. With range attacks, if I remember correctly. <laughs> While you can see through this item, you roll three dice. I also have elven actors. Yeah, so it is... You're right. It, it, would only be, it does say yeah. extra attacks. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right. That's better. It's not better. It's a cock die, but... I still need you to make a wisdom save. As you try to it's, read, you realize you're reading the abyss itself. 24 that time. 24. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, no. Yeah, okay. As you try to read this entity, you realize you are reading part of the abyss itself. You realize at the very pits of your stomach, the horrors of demonic influence. You just stare at it for the next minute. As I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. With advantage for favorite enemy? Yes. I think? Double check that. They the change ranger ability. The die loaded on eighteen. Okay. So I don't know if it's gonna matter because I, I haven't put well, my I've extra four four into my thing. So, uh, well, for that one, I'm at twenty seven right now. Twenty seven. Do I need to do better than that to succeed? You're fine. Okay. No, it was a DC twenty. I'll look it up. But I've this was against a fear effect, and 
Yeah. Basically, you all right, you're not you're not <laughs> stunned in fear. They got dated worse. <laughs> yeah. You're not stunned in fear, and you do get to move around still. Okay. Make a stealth. <laughs> Is that trying not to get? Plus you haven't moved yet, and so I'm using your residual stealth. You do pass little clips of movement outside of this oppressive force. Much smaller, in fact. But something else is still here. But can't really see due to the smoke and ash and debris that are being tossed up considerably as this thing is occasionally striking towards the tree that, in its dying efforts, made one final hurrah, so to speak, in attempting to hold this creature here for a time. Advantage on wisdom checks and intelligence. So those are the two that they get advantage on. I also get them perception. And oh, for favorite enemy? Yeah, but okay. um, wisdom and intelligence based checks. Yes, I get advantage. Um, checks, not saving throws. On checks involving wisdom and intelligence. Checks are different than saving okay. throws. Okay. But I, I succeeded, so now we know. I do yeah. have. That's a variant. Sorry, let me get to the right one. You're gonna get injured plus fifth edition. Let's get to the TMD Beyond mode. <laughs> So we come back to Vedic but real quick as he's opening up a scroll with that dancing lady inside. <laughs> Shopping for other scrolls, obviously. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Oh, this is yeah, the could be useful. <laughs> not all of them are female, and uh, not all of them are humanoid. Well, we've already established she likes them big. <laughs> <laughs> what, the scrolls or the things? Yes. <laughs> Bigger scrolls, the better. <laughs> I like them unwieldy. <laughs> I like them unwieldy. If I can't use them like a mace. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is. Alright, it's called. <laughs> I need two unseen servants to help me roll it up, or it's just not worth having. <laughs> Uh, funny enough, you do find a uh, a strange scroll that has a bunch of books, uh, like almost uh, like rubber band at the end of the scroll itself. And when you lift it up, it's surprisingly light, even though it's like twice your size. So scroll shopping. What yeah. else? What else? Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm I am scroll shopping. I'm looking to enhance. Oh, yes. I'm looking to enhance my spell selection. Okay. But beyond that, we're gonna need. Do we? Do I get any kind of hint that what's going on with Quinn? Or uh, absolutely not. He just disappeared. Uh, he went off to do his own thing. He's been gone for a while. You're shopping. Da 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 da. da, da. Uh, you're finding a lot of powerful spells in here. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, ancient scrolls in this area that it should not exist. <laughs> but then again, this entire shop should exist. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, well, talking about wizard standpoint, all right? Uh, there's going to be a lot of like you. Fuck of all people does not get to say this shouldn't exist. It restarts the universe. Jeez, exactly. Right. I, don't know. I mean, that's fair. Uh, the bullshit is high. Kettle. You find one ninth level spell, two eighth level, uh, eighth level spells, and ten seventh level spell schools, and then there's just like infinite bunch of others. All right, so so so. If he did he spent did he spend the earworms or uh he spent uh n- not entirely no all right well you know I'll, I'm gonna I did, tell you right so, away what it, it is in the ninth level spell what is it medium swarm I mean I'm not gonna say fucking no to that yes <laughs> to put that one up on and the eighth level ones because I've only got a couple of those okay the eighth level one uh one of them is uh oh, what is we it? might need meteor swarm in the next battle uh you know the uh, chrom- uh chromatic spear. I am mm-hmm. meteors. That's the eighth level one. Okay. We need an additional one. And there's one other <laughs> eighth level one. So uh, the first four meteor swarms. That's when you come to What was it called? Dude, did you all help me? 
Well, if it says Dean DeBeyond is going to get saved, get saved. Plan B is as many years as the first step. That's plan A. Plan C is send in the bunny. Send in the bunny. Uh, class of speed, spells, and we need eighth level. I believe you. Anyway, just just slap them up there. They're, okay. they're, they're not going to matter for the, for the rest of the game. So. Okay. Well, at least today's game. Right, right. So yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I mean. So okay. slap, slap them up there and How go How many of what? So you're, getting, you're taking the ninth, you're taking both eighths? Both eighths and... and there's ten seconds. So we got stone... Gary. <laughs> <laughs> so we got... <laughs> so we got like this stone pillar and a dry riverbed and like used to be it's all we need is get a line to the top of that thing having roar that it'll rain and the river will come back and everything will come again. All that is accurate, yes. Yep. Totally. Totally. <laughs> as long as you <laughs> I think we have to kill some hyenas first. <laughs> True. So we put Eck in a room full of hyenas. I think we have to kill some hyenas. <laughs> so you put all of the stuff down, and you see the Albar that's just kind of uh, ticking her talons. Expensive, expensive, expensive. I have earworms and a great deal of platinum. She takes earworms? the entire bag of platinum. How much is in it? <laughs> I would have to look it up. Well, I'm gonna have to. Right? Um, I, I don't have that little notebook here, but You're it's, it's, I have I notebook. have tens of thousands in gold. Ten? Well, okay. On or in, the, in platinum. I have I have like a couple thousand. On platinum. the prospect of tens of thousands of gold as a gold dragon mentality individual uh, gives away, she takes the entire sample. I, I could have been paying with money? This has connectional value to someone. Hmm. I'll take my scrolls <laughs> Like the scroll, they are the, the wad of paper he's carrying. He's bigger than he is. He's just like, <laughs> 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 you walk out. You grow as you walk out. <laughs> scroll falls out till grabs it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bradley has never paid like, directly with gold before. <laughs> It's actually he really probably accurate. I know it is accurate. <laughs> he really wanted those scrolls. <laughs> okay. You got a lot of magic there. Damn. The this ability to throw is a throw gift. meteor swarm. I created someone in the middle of a war zone. zone. I would like her to be able to slightly defend herself. Noted. Oh, that's a good point. She gives a a elegant, deep bow towards you. It is always a pleasure. Who you have a meat match shall envy everything you eat. I concur. Okay. Um thanks. Um oh, can thank this one? Hmm? We can thank this one? I can thank her. You should be wary. No. I mean, to repay creation itself tends to be a bit of a steep climb. I can thank her. You should be wary. Yeah. <laughs> I leave. To the moonshine. This is why I ask questions in the bay. <laughs> <laughs> um. And then. I have. Something that was of great potential value. Okay. And something that has been of great value to one who has power over me, mm -hmm. but I have never worn. So this has saved Nicholas's life on multiple occasions. And this is something that Sparks was actively trying to rearrange his slots in order to attune to, but he just couldn't swing it. This is more valuable. No, 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 I'm saying that. both of them. Yeah. In exchange, I'm already very switch arm when I pass I would like this to activate on more numbers. Ouch. And she literally just <laughs> and her head like spins around three times. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, bargain indeed. And she kind of cracks her knuckles. Let's get the word! Ah, and I'm she just the bones. <laughs> 
I'm sorry my fingers didn't crack on that. Usually it does. Oh, and she, you hear like in the background with a bunch of like, you don't see any of this happening as she pulls it back. This one's going to be more in the meantime. And she uh, closes the uh, door behind her, and you can hear like a bunch of water sounds, ink wells, followed by like some sort of like something like vibrating very, very quickly to get the momentum. It's a little weird. Mm-hmm. Chainsaw, paper shredder. Yeah. Tap, 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 tap. And it's like a. <laughs> The lights dim, even though they're candles, they like dim. And your clothing starts to levitate slowly. <laughs> I levitate with them. So she, she does have advances in this shop, being home, terrain, and yada yada yada. Okay. So, not the best of rolls, only a 25. Only. What are you trying to create? Yeah. I will increase it. My pen is missing! Pen. Pen. Which glasses? Alright, so where was it? Party trick. Okay. With a 25. Right now. On a 1, 2, and 3. Groovy. And I'll look at this. Look now, at everyone, your task is to tell me what you bought. For the love of God. Look at all that. Card. I just left like my card. All the ring. That was all. There's nothing I did. Yep. I know, but I'm gonna make new spells. I, yep. Yeah, I was trying to do it. Now, apparently, I can't create a custom item. Uh, I crafting in five E is a little shit. You're in a high fantasy. No, no, no. I, in like D and D Beyond, to just like. Add oh yeah, no, oh, I it's have, a I, huge pain in the ass. Yeah, it's a yeah. huge pain in the ass. It takes it's like, like, four it's like create create custom item that does these things. Nope. It gladly <laughs> goes fuck you. Uh, so, <laughs> question, and this is this, so I got a ring of protection plus four. A normal ring of protection is one to AC and saves. Is this ring of protection plus four four to AC and saves or five to AC and saves? Four. Okay. You already got an item that should not exist. Yeah, I got it. Likewise. I'm just this plus three. Yeah, because as high as you can go, uh, plus three is usually like the max for like any equipment. Yeah, there, plus four should not exist. No. That's legendary status. That's, that's, not, that's above legendary. That's probably. Somebody hit me with a Christmas save. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to smile and go, <laughs> What's your Christmas save? So! But as you guys go off, you got your scrolls, you got your items, well, you created life! Modified 20. Because Faye did, does that shit. Yep. And don't, you can argue that all you want. Uh, <laughs> you got rings, you got rings, and you got I'm rings, a native uh, you, you got rings. scrolls and a lot less money. I, got, I, I didn't get a ring, I got a bracelet. True. Ring transformed into a bracelet. I call it a bracelet. Is there anything you would like to do to before going to bed and before we go back to quit? My last thing is as a matter of respect to my boss, I am going to use my sending stone to send a message to Nicholas to inform her that um, with sh- the power that she is bestowed upon me and in reverence to her and her domain and blah blah you know what i'm saying all the you did great and i did great because you did great and but like i made life today so that's something that you should probably leverage with the council and reputation and court and whatever because one of your disciples or employees or whatever i i i did that there's a person over there who existed because i believed hard enough and you're my boss and you made that happen because that's how this works. So, um, I'm gonna go to bed. Make Bye. It, <laughs> make a <your> persuasion check. Because <laughs> this is Quinn. I mean, this is uh, Nick's. So, how, how many words do you normally get when you do that? The sending oh, stone. Only 25, but. <laughs> We have not been playing it that way, no. but we've just been doing it as like an answering machine service. Like yeah. it's it's not doing like the message and message back or anything. It's always like I only have so many per day and I don't get notified when they send me a message, that kind of thing. Um There's still flashing lights. It's eleven plus seven. Eighteen. Eighteen. That. Eighteen. Okay. I mean you didn't catch her on time. <laughs> yeah. Because you never interrupt 
a researcher during the midst of a uh, 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 of a like heavy research moment. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, I don't care. If she, she doesn't, doesn't call back to it. yell at you. That's yep. plus. I don't care if she does anything with it, but if she has an opportunity to gain a reputation and I don't tell her and she finds out, we'll I get see. in trouble. So. Usually it takes time to get reputation and stuff like that, yeah. but we will see. There's already a couple other individuals that are shrinking and expanding, going into the shop to see this new wonder of the world. <laughs> uh, as people are going, what the hell is this? Arm the seals. Uh, even the dryad herself no, goes in because she goes, something just spawned <laughs> in my what? <laughs> <laughs> There's something new. I, I I told everybody very loud. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. But still, it's just like you're a bunny with a knife. How are you supposed to create life? Uh, with paint. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Magic paint. Uh, it's that kind of fey bullshit thing. <laughs> Magic paint. Make person. I hate it and I love it. I hate it and I love it. Anyway, um, as you guys take start taking a long rest. We go back to Quinn. Quinn, I want you to roll a d8 to see how many hours it took to get to this lo location. Because you weren't exactly rushing, but at the same time, you were not no, exactly... No, I was trudging. It took me three hours to get there. Okay. I'm doing one thing during my long rest. I'm taking my time What's to look speed? internally <laughs> and focus on that hum. But I, I was put aside for a very long time. And you did, and it's here. still there. Just a tickle. I have time. I'm going to sit down and just think. Are you taking a long rest or are you meditating? To give me directions. I'm not doing anything strenuous. Would it be considered strenuous? I'm not going to answer that question. I didn't lose much hit points and I don't already have anything gone. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, before I go on my long rest to just kind of do that, I don't think it's going to be strenuous. So you're going to start on your long rest? Yes. If it, I'm going to think, I'm going to focus on the hum inside. If it so happens that that forgoes my long rest, then so be it. I will tell you right away, as you begin try to meditate on it, as you deactivate most parts of your body to start and instigate a long rest for Warforged, that hum kind of departs. Okay, then I will forgo the long rest. I'm only down a couple of points. And you begin to meditate as you reactivate every part of your body and your investigating and roll a wisdom saving throw i'm going to choose to fail mm. as everything goes away and you are replaced with the hum not hum the tick tack tick 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 tack tack of a thousand falling cogs rolling together you dive into the world of order and the god of law when we're back to you i am going to like it it's it seems to be lashed yeah, not, it's not, not like full blown fuck you energy, but it's like low key of like oh you're, he's he's literally walking around this tree going you motherfucker like he can't get away from it you hold me and every time it gets close to like the barrier where like the, the a grove no longer is just grove it's trees where, where it goes little, to the forest yeah, yeah it goes to the forest there is a the trees that are burning now you realize they're forever burning and it be, and as he gets closer to the side of the barrier the fire. <laughs> as the trees almost collapse get in front of it and seem to almost impede any sort of progression in a magical sense of the dying last will of a dryad okay burning its literal soul well what remained of its soul it's to keep it here so he's trying to he's he's in the mode of like trying to figure out like all right all right so what if I tried this? And he whips uh, like the barrier, and then he whips the tree and tries to kick it and punch it and tries to break this stone, which he should be able to break, but seems to be having trouble. Okay, I'm going to like circle and just get the lay of the land. Like I want to study it. Like I'm deciding that I'm going to fight this thing. Okay. And I'm deciding I will fight this thing on my own if I have Make to. Make a dexterity saving throw because you are in the fire fields, essentially, uh, which is incredibly hot. 30. 30, you take no damage. 
I also have resistance from my armor. Yes, I'll turn back on them. Yeah, <laughs> and I know that, and that's why you take no damage. Yeah. Because you're not taking with a high enough DC, yeah. you don't touch the flames. What the and you stay away from <laughs> but the pocket from the 24 points of damage earlier. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole last thing. Oh, I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm healing back. There's, like, there's a no inside of here. Like guys, stop <laughs> eating the glass. Just yeah. drink. Just it. eat the vial. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it in your fat stew. There's that one baker who's now spinning them out of sugar now. Yeah, they're just, you know, for security, and they're like, kids, stop I doing this. Out how to get this into him. The There's no cork. It's just sealed in sugar. <laughs> yeah. It's like a so pill. you're going around, and you're trying to study the creature. Unfortunately, your eye has peered and failed. As you're looking into the abyss itself, this yeah. thing is still connected to its home plane of existence, yeah. which is not a pretty place. As you hear the abyssal speak in your mind, hearing the translations of so many deplorable, terrible th actions yeah. to be suggested. I'll, I'll try again when we actually start to fight. I can technically start, try again every ten minutes, but I'll, I'm, I don't want to abuse that fact. I believe it's like once uh, it, you use it on one creature, you can't do so after 24 hours. For ten minutes. Oh, for ten minutes. Yeah, I can't use it again. Like, they're immune to it for ten minutes. Okay, and ten minutes, make another stealth check. Okay. Because ten minutes of moving around well, trying I'm, to... I'm going to spend time. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm going to know where everything... You're stalking your prey. I'm stalking this guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, another stealth check. Um, this time, 30. 30? I'm still going to roll, because he Do does... It. He could hit it. He might. He might. He might. He's preoccupied with his own investigation. He might kick off now. this fireworks show early. You don't know. <laughs> He's currently digging a couple of troughs in the ground. Do you speak abyssal? I do. Yeah. <laughs> and with the guttural motions of its so low roar, the bull face grumbling, ancient, impossibly old creature, as it begins to say, It bothers creations of all. The green of law that falls hearts as only our chaos rules. Strength remains. Is true to all. It begins going into almost a ritualistic chanting of something as he's casting, well, beginning ritualistically carving stuff and casting around the tree. My eye tells me what spell he's doing. That's not a. True! Yeah. True! Huh? I get the. He's casting a summoning circle. No oh, goody! Oh. <laughs> Just around the tree. Not good. As, as I'm as I'm like sneaking around, he's he's like working his way clockwise around the tree. Mm -hmm. I'm coming along behind him, like crossing out, changing symbols. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna actually enter it? What? Make another stealth check, buddy. Seriously, entered. Oh boy. Seventeen plus fourteen, thirty-one. Thirty-one. That's a natural one. That's so if you're going over there and you're like, you get a little spade and you're like, he, he's like, he's like, Omega, no, Beta. Uh, <laughs> Omicron, no, Pi. <laughs> you motherfuckers. So, how many times? Are, okay, go ahead and roll an Arcana check to see how well, like, this is like a low key ritualistic display. I don't want to roll poorly just to yeah. make it, like, really it's so much worse. Ah, uh, no, 23. 23? No, this is like actively learning how, like, okay, this is how you really fuck it over, right? Yeah. Like, he's gonna summon piles of sugar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna open a gonna portal to the elemental plane. And I'm gonna say, at the end of, yeah. end of your right. first 10 minutes, yeah. at the end of your first 10 minutes, he begins, like, he has the entire circle rise with fire! And suddenly there's a bunch of, like, cannon cane peeps. popcorns <laughs> and peeps. butterflies. There's little peeps. demonic peeps to his credit. <laughs> and he's just sitting yeah, there, just peeps. like. He's a demonic, scary, yeah. like, oppressive destruction of everything that is good. And he's just like, what the fuck? What just happened? And he's looking around at the symbols and he's looking. He's making an investigation check. Like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> and literally, in Abyssal, what the fuck did I do wrong? Yeah. I've been doing this for 7,000 years. I mean, come on. How did, how did I fuck oh, what? that badly? I, I'm really out of it today. And he begins, like, trying again. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, boss. Everybody has a bad day. Die! <laughs> Power word kills. And he says, Wow, I'm really glad no one's here to watch this right now. This is a 
embarrassing. <laughs> As he rolled a natural five investigation check. Oh, wow. That's fine. This guy is retired. Because he's not a really magic. You can really tell he's not a really magical individual. He's a bailor. He's a brute. He's a brute, he's a brute instrument. Brute. He's a brute instrument. If you had someone that was really castable, uh, like casting capability per, uh, in a situation, it would be completely yeah, different. Yeah, if we had a rock or something. <laughs> bailor. Eh. Uh, but you did enter and you did still leave. Now, for entering and leaving, it does not stop you, but you do take six, seven points of fire damage for just leaving. Reduced by half. For Reduced it by half, so three. <laughs> <laughs> have so many potions. We have like 50 in a party. <laughs> I have like half of them. The Baylor just kind of looks up, just like as you're like... Aah! And so you crunch it down on the glass. <laughs> so hardcore, we eat the glass. It's bad. It's really bad. Uh, roll another stealth check. Was X cooking that bad? Is that really what you guys have come to? Oh! Natural 20. Natural 20. I'm still gonna roll. Roll it, because you could beat my, you know. Natural 8. Nine. This diet's going over here. <laughs> do, uh, you, do, you do you want the next chair? Yeah, the 10 minutes has gone by. Okay. He's trying to cast again. Okay. But you're still there, but your eyes able to read him, attempt to read him again. Sure. Not much better. 22. You rolled a natural 2, then he said a 20. He's so, just not paying attention. So I beat him, so I get the first You year. beat him. Sorry, that doesn't make it a 20, but... Of course, probably makes sense. sense. You know, he's, he's probably wondering where the hell I can get out of here, and no one's possibly oh, going to be in here. No, no, no. Advantage. Forgot advantage. Because your favorite. 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 Yeah, so that actually makes my perception a 31. 31. He rolled a 12. Him, which beats him by 10 and above. Yes, it does. Which means I know all of his skills, senses, damage vulnerabilities, damage resistances, damage immunities, conditional immunities, strength score, deck score, comm score, armor class, movement speed, movement type, casting, attack bonus, and save DC if any total hit points, total class levels, or CR. I also know his creature's special traits, attack actions, special reactions, bonus actions, and legendary Just actions. look up Just the damn monster, man. Look at Baylor, oh, wait, hold on. and that's what you see. And he uh, knows the size of the last bowel movement he had. Yeah, but he is. <laughs> a, I stepped over. He is a, a <laughs> he is a summoner variant. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, so I'm that, assuming that the physical stat block remains the same. You just yeah, pretty much the, it's power. pretty much the same. Okay. Uh, there might be minor differences, but I'll let you know once we pop into it. Really, realistically, what that does is lets me mitigate. So. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to do as you're studying this creature and preventing it from summoning whatever it's trying to summon, uh, or whatever it's trying to do? Uh, it is a summer vi- uh, uh, summon variant, and with your perception check, with that perception check, there's definitely other things in the force. Yeah, he's got some other things. He's got other things in there. And you notice in the actual it. stone tree, there is a long serpent-like body. And it takes a moment with that 30 as you actually step in. That hasn't seen you yet because you are a stealthy motherfucker. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna. The dice are gonna come back around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right. Ash is like pointing at you. I'm actually gonna roll over. <laughs> What's yours? Like 22. <laughs> There's something in the dead dryad's tree that is currently playing with the upper torso of the stone dryad. That is currently just playing with the upper torso. You caught some nice boobs. <laughs> I, that's exactly what she is doing. You lost your as, arms. as you see a mirror lift curled around in the tree with the snake body with its six arms just kind of exploring the bus of the dead dry. It's only in your life. It's not very terrible. Seemingly just kind of... Yeah, that's a lot of attacks. <laughs> yeah. I can take her. As a rabbit, I have issues with snakes. <laughs> I can take her. <laughs> Oh, Summoner well, Variant. You don't have issues with snakes, because you have a pocket full of fireballs. <laughs> You've heard of pocket full of sunshine? This is that on a whole new level. <laughs> I have a pocket full of nuclear fission. And I'm going to say over the next few Fusion. hours. So what would you like to do That's with the business. next few hours? Continue to prevent it from summoning whatever Okay. It I want you to roll three stealth checks because you've already successfully prevented it once 
Uh, do you want these individually? These are individually. Check. These are stealth checks. Yes. Oh, sorry. So, 17 or 27 on the first one, 24 on the second one, and uh, 23 on the third one. You are a lucky motherfucker. That I am. You ever dance with the devil in the pale of the night? On the third time. Plus you have a plus 20 to add. It add roars. I already used it. Oh. On the third time, it roars in anger. It As knows it, that it, it wrote thigh veda chow. Yeah, I, it knows someone is fucking And then it. he comes around and goes... And he's looking around. He's I, looking yeah. in between the flames. He knows <laughs> something is You got here. so bored that as you ran around the circle, you started writing in Latin, I am an asshole. After <laughs> <laughs> correcting his grammar. <laughs> Romans, they go the house. As it's now just tracing. <laughs> Someone is here. The sun's What is here? Someone must taste. As he's going around, as the Merilith is not seen anymore, and you can't see it in the protected domain. Just dangle a rat. Thank you. We'll summon a dire mongoose. <laughs> <laughs> he, I do have your bag of tricks, and I've thought about it. <laughs> and I'm going to say at the end of the hour. So it took you six hours to get up here, plus an hour. So that's plus seven. Plus the ritual. Plus how long was that ritual? Well, you sent the uh, you sent the uh, messenger before yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So seven hours into your long rest. <laughs> I'll take him. I'll take just just and yeah. 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 successfully yeah. oil, yeah. maybe if some you garlic. Be quiet, oh. I won't feed you to <laughs> him. <laughs> what do you want? It's like a bright light bulb as well. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like shining from. Oh yeah, it goes into full like strobe like. Do, 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 do. You're so bright. Put down. What do you want? Quit your travel! Quit your travel! Quit your travel! Okay, cop just. Uh, uh, Alright, guys, shut up, guys. Quinn's in trouble. What? What? Is what is it? I'm going to feed you to a whole bald if you don't stop repeating. Oh my god, I'm trying. No, I'm going to die that way. What? Quinn's in trouble. The loud thing is yelling. Quinn's in trouble. <laughs> And we oh. need to go deal with. Did he bring. Did he send just you? Yeah, he did very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Shut up. Okay, so. Tell him we'll be there in an hour and 10 minutes. Nope. <laughs> We're doing this now. <laughs> you what have not been this long rest. I don't care. <laughs> what are we doing now? We're going to Quinn. Where's Quinn? And it's just like, you don't see any arms, it's just a ball. Wait, wait, so, 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 hang on, just give me the pixie. <laughs> wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. You're not going to eat the pixie. I promise I will not immediately eat the pixie. Don't take so much alive! You're not going to eat the pixie until we get the information we need from uh, the We pixie. are not going to eat the pixie until we need, whatever you said, just give, 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 me, give, me, give me the glitter shaker. Thank you, all right, so great. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> I'm sorry, should I, good morning. <laughs> you would look great with some uh, huevos and covered in salsa. <laughs> but in the meantime, you know where Quinn is? Oh, yes. Great, fantastic. Everybody get over here. Teleport. Oh, nice. Okay. So I am not distracting the memory from the. She's <laughs> part of the thing. She just counts as we know where that we know where it is. Oh, true, because of like the item. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, she just knows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now is it your teleport or is it the pixie's teleport? It's, it's going to be a combination. Can the pixie teleport? Yeah. No, oh, good. Then I don't want to burn the spell no, slot. No, you're going to be burning the spell oh. slot because she can't do it. But it's going through oh, her. She can teleport herself. She can't do All right. Well, great. Yeah. I can teleport. But can it be her effect? 
It's gonna be a combo spell. Because hers is bubbles. Like bubbles appear, and then as they pop here, it's something. It's gonna be combos. So I want you to roll an Arcana check. Okay. So real quick, I would like to make sure that the two guys who took hits for me are in the circle. Come here. Twenty four. Twenty four. So you begin to pour the all right, all right, intense good play, magical good energy good into yeah, the yeah, everybody get her out. Put a hand on the cobalt for luck. I'm sitting on the floor. So glad to very not pertinent. be present. <laughs> I got it. very pertinent information. I descended into myself. What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very pertinent information. My eyes are off, and I am just sitting. I have not moved. Oh yeah. So Sparks has not moved yet. All this noise happened, and Sparks is no lights. Okay. So if he's not moving, I'm gonna group us all around him, and I'm gonna start banging and try and stick my head inside. No, no. We'll just tape the pixie to him, so I can write out the runes. <laughs> like wait, wait, I like wait. the idea of using like this chest plate yeah, and this whiteboard. So okay. So while he's doing that, I'm trying to wake up Sparks, but ding, it's ding, just ding, like ding, 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 ding. Yeah. all the rest of the faith are like, God yeah. yeah, damn it. Fuck! He and, caught another one! Yeah, and there's like, you got some sticks and you're whacking against him. Boom, boom, boom. And by the way, Flint is still there and Flint is just like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, sorry, yeah, wrong boys. Uh, and Sylvan, so uh, what's all the hubbub about? We're, we're teleporting. Come here. He looks down to. Sparks, I will stand next to Spark, uh, Sparks. Okay, can you get Sparks out of his tummy? I mean, Wait, he, oh. he kind of lets his arm <laughs> out and slams your head. Boom, it kind of tilts a little bit. Put the kettle over his head. <laughs> I believe uh, I'm he's trying. Not, <laughs> he's not, uh, he has not, he's not moving. He's not responding. Um, see, I'm, well, he is it's so going to take him up. It's going to take him an hour to wake up. It's, well, we'll see about that. We can we can teleport with him whether he wants to. Yep. Or not. Yep. I th- I vote we do that. And this uh nice, nice to take break. Right? <laughs> sure. Right? <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Tell but we did it. not get a long rest? No. Okay. Not a long rest. No, no, I just burnt my thing... last upper level spell slot. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really important that I know that. It means I'm still proficient in the band <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's, that's important. <laughs> All right. So, boom. Like, like, like lightning crash bubbles. So, so we did get short rest out of us. You did get a short rest out of this. So, all short rest capabilities is yours. Remember, this is your second short rest. <laughs> of the time. Um, that doesn't count. Oh, nice. okay, that doesn't count. And I need mean, everyone to make a constitution saving throw or suffer one exhaustion point. For those that kind of got a rest, you just suffer an exhaustion point because you weren't resting, period. What's the DC of the so 16 plus 11 so is 27 for that constitution saving throw? Luckily, I don't worry about exhaustion. You don't have do to I, do I make a saving throw or I just take No, it? You, you were moving around, running around, and stuff okay. like that, and doing ritual shit. Mm. I mean, Does that mean I can't gain advantage? You are at uh, one point exhaustion right now. So you're going to have to Okay. We're going to use that. That, 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 is, that, that is happy okay. rest. So yeah, you don't have the ability okay. to get managed. That's gonna so be... there's that. That's long oh, rest. I can still give it to everybody. That's short rest. Ha ha! Uh, okay, no, everybody... No, no! Hey, like, I'm, like, I'm sitting there like, I'm getting tired. You oh. know what I'm doing? I'm drinking the espresso. <laughs> I'm losing exhaustion and gives me an extra bonus action. Your irises. <laughs> it's all sorry. Wrong way. Your irises expand. Yeah. <laughs> For four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Your yeah. And there's no exhaustion. It's all you need. All right. But now it's like the <laughs> it, key. It's harder to like stay still. Quinn! <laughs> okay. Quinn! Stop. Stop. We're gonna. Okay. So I rolled for the pixies. Well, that got a natural one. Oh, oh no! So I'm gonna roll a directional die oh, right shit. now. Ready? We're gonna be right in the middle. Oh no, no, the teleport actually has rules if we're off target. Okay. Or oh, I know. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> hold on. Like, are we finishing up the stuff that. Do you want us to be going into this knowing exactly everything we've done? Okay. Um, long rest. Everybody who is here, up to nine people, gets seven temp hit points. From snackage. Useful. So, I mean, we're get, so it's, as we're it's, all it's huddling around sports, she's like, handing us pastries. Yeah. And yeah. It's orange it's slices and Capri Suns. <laughs> <laughs> That's the short rest treats. <laughs> 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 
It's like a whole cupcake. No, no, like they're they're like egg McMuffins. Like it's, it's, <laughs> it's the size of the piggies. Yeah. Um. So that's happening. Um. I've got my token back, so we're good there. That's. Sorry, I have a lot of things. Mm -hmm. That, that. Those are good. Um, I'm assuming nothing on the Sending Stone. That's good. That's good. Uh, 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 uh. So I just rolled a directional nine. Okay. Or exactly where we want to be. Yeah. Right in the middle of the camp. In front of the door. Next to the you're going to find out exactly how fast Vedic can kick somebody in the ankle. <laughs> I'm going to find out how potent these arrows are. <laughs> I am not part of this fight. So, anything else? I think I'm good. I think that's everything. Anything else? I'm teleporting. I don't... You're in your own thing. Oh, Heck, anything else? Uh, Overwatch, then Yada. That's, that's what I'm picturing. The, yes. So it's him, Just... me, the pixie... Egg. There's a rock that's the, levitating. We don't know why. Not him, but the other Warforged. Oh, I mean, Flint. Flint. Okay. So, so I have four remaining. Could be worse. Uh, breakfast sandwiches. And Sweetheart uh, uh, is looking at this breakfast like sandwich, sandwich of the Warforged. He, he, he opens up like a, like a slot in the upper chest and just puts it in, and there's like. It's like a CD tray. And closes it. A little reheating oven. Did that work? Do you feel a little beefier? He kind of jumps up and down. I say so, yeah. All right, gonna keep making him sandwiches. Got it. Um, Bye, okay. Reactor. <laughs> all right, and that <laughs> means that's why all the kills go inside. <laughs> okay, so that's one, two, three, four of those left. Okay, cool. Okay. Because that means that when we land, should he come out, and also two more sandwiches. So, as you begin casting, nuts. as you begin casting, as you channel your draconic energy into this creature, pull! <laughs> 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 and like, quite literally like blue radioactive energy. <laughs> and she goes, <laughs> and she like goes supersonic speaking. <laughs> You can either be a participant or a component. It's all really you, your you, choice. You, like, uh, also, it's like a thin layer of dirt underneath. You lift up immediately as out all of you uh, cool, intentionally bright, as if she just grew in size and you just became part of her mega structure of a giant glowing ball and just go and just fly like 600 miles an hour, stop directly above, and you see this giant light that just uh, appears above Quinn. Just... <laughs> And then he immediately just <laughs> lands about um, 60 feet in the circle, in the circle, and the Baylor's just looking at this giant, giant light, blinding light that all your companions and meditating sparks is now currently in front of a Baylor. Do I see a big scary thing? You see a big scary thing. I am immediately taking action. action. I <laughs> thought this was going to be for nothing. As the uh, wind immediately uh, fires right, right. as the other side of the electric I'm pretty sure I'm about. faster than yeah, I know. But we're going to be rolling initiatives at this point, but we're going to stop here tonight. <laughs> oh, I wanted to fight a goddamn Baylor. Oh, you're going to have to fight a demon lord uh, next time. <laughs> and I'm not playing myself, I'm playing Flint. Ooh. Oh. Because I am inside myself. We are going to start the Four next game spikes. with your meditation sequence. Oh, well, Fantastic. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, till next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and keep on rolling, everyone. I hope you had a good time. Bye. 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 I cannot help but notice the world is not the same as when we all got started and we know who's to blame. No turning back now to try to be insane For what's beyond the veil too vivid to explain Faceless behemoths haunt my dreams Seeking to steal my sanity I will not stand, I won't back away As long as you're with me
Ether and holy wind But we will stand up We'll shout a battle cry The future beckons us And we'll stand unified There's something coming And it's coming fast We won't be frightened By the dead hand of God